Back now on Try Today, and from time to time, we like to talk about education, and we like to talk about helping students. And our special guest now is somebody who knows about both of those things, education and helping students, and she is doing a lot of that with me right now. Sybil Newman, director of Titan Link. We're going to find out what that means. From GTCC, welcome to the show. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, now, I've been hearing about Titan Link. What is it? Try, try to explain it to me. Titan Link is the entity at the college that addresses non-academic challenges and barriers that students face, i.e., for example, the transportation, child care, housing and security, food insecurity, and those things that impede their ability to stay enrolled and stay connected to learning. Um, we realized one of the things we realized early on was that life happens for a lot of our students, and despite their efforts to do their best in the classroom, oftentimes the struggles come because they have other things going on. So they could have a, a small child at home. They could uh, have uh, issues with uh, making ends meet and not having enough uh, food that they should for nutrition. All those things go into trying to succeed in education. So you're helping in those ways, right? That's right. And, and I think it's really important because um, a lot of things occurred. COVID created an environment that was very different for many of us. Right. And uh, the adult learner was no different. Uh, they had, there were parents, most of our most of our students are on financial aid and or they're, they're leading households where there was a requirement that was put on them that financially strained them. And so Titan Link is in place at the college to be able to help mitigate those that type of hardship and those hardships for our students and their families. Are most of the students have one of these, I know it's kind of a personal thing to answer and maybe there's no answer to it, but it, do most students have sort of a, an issue that they're trying to deal with that impedes them, do you think? Or is it just a certain population of students or what? I think people have, an issue, have issues in, in, in and of itself. I think life happens and I think most of our students are indicative of what's going on in our county and in the state and they're just in the just around the country. And so yes, they have issues and, and we have sometimes the measures in place to be able to help mitigate our hardships, but a lot of our students don't. Uh, it comes Life comes at them fast and they have to make a, a decision about whether they're going to eat, whether they're going to put gas in the car, whether they're going to be able to have hot spots so that they can do work or and or their children do work. So there right. are a lot of other factors that come into play. Now I heard through the grapevine that Titan Link, uh, you and Titan Link have been doing some pretty remarkable things uh, since the pandemic. Uh, and uh, tell us about that. You know, I was really excited. I, COVID created and, and revealed to us some of the things, some of the, the pitfalls that, that were in existence, we just didn't pay attention to them. They didn't rear their head. And so what we found is that many of our students, when we had to go to a strictly online environment due to COVID, it created a, a we had to respond in a way that was intentional so that we did not lose our students. And so when the college asked, they came and asked, they said, what is it you think you need? And I said, I need devices. I need to have a digital, um, have our students have access to, to digital technology, really, to be able to continue on. And so thus began uh, my request for devices. And initially we started with Chromebooks, and then we realized that the Chromebooks only sat satisfied a small portion of our learners, that we needed laptops for our engineering, our information systems oh, yeah. and some of our business classes. Right. And so uh, the college, what I was what I was really excited about was that they responded very intentionally um, to addressing that need. And so we were able to secure a, an overwhelming number of devices. Now, is there a Titan Link office on campus or campuses at GTC? So, so if I have a problem, I can go to it or what? Yes, we have three actual physical locations. We have, we're housed on the Jamestown campus, which is our main campus. And then two of our satellite campuses, which is Green, the Greensboro campus and the High Point campus. And we serve, mobily serve, our other campuses. So any student who's enrolled and attending, if they're at a community, one of the community programs, we're able to serve them as well. Now, a lot of people, I think the misnomer is about community colleges. Oh, that's all provided by the state and whatever. But very quickly, you, you, you can accept donations, right? We accept donations happily, uh, and they can be directed through our foundation. And we try to make sure that we're good stewards over the allocations as they've been outlined by the donor. And so that's really important to us uh, because one of the things is that we try to connect the donor to students and, and what the donor wants it to look like if it's a single parent or if it's a person from a different from a, a, a specific county we try to connect and so yes donations and contributions can be made up on screen i don't want to forget to say this gtcc.edu backslash titan link please check that out folks gtcc.edu backslash titan link i sure i'm glad you're around and helping folks i'm glad to be around and helping <laughs> will, you, will you come back sometime i will anytime all right thanks Sue.